Yeah, so she, comes to, she comes in front of uh, Kartama Muni and she asks him some questions. You know, she says that I have a few questions for you. So, uh, first of all, she she comes to him and she says that I am sick of the disturbance caused by the material senses. You know, so she says that I am sick of the disturbance caused by material senses. It's a very interesting uh, statement when she says she think of the disturbance caused by the material senses. So what is this disturbance that is caused by the material senses? You should think about that. That uh, the senses that we have been given, uh, we've been given the sense of hearing, sense of seeing, sense of tasting, sense of smelling, sense of touching. Uh, you know, so this these senses that we have been given. Uh, why is she saying that it is causing a disturbance? You know, these material senses are causing a disturbance. Because the, traditionally in the material world, no one thinks like that. Right? Everyone feels that, uh, yeah, two friends are very happy to see each other. <laughs> so everyone, see, everyone in the material world, if you see senses, uh, when, they, when they receive some material sense gratification, okay, some sort of, uh, you know, sense object comes in front of them. Uh, they don't feel disturbed. They feel very happy. Like, sense gratification is And uh, why is then Mother Devuti saying that I am sick of this disturbance? You know, so it's worth thinking about. Because actually if we analyze, you know, this material world the way it is designed, uh, it is designed that there is always shortage of everything. Her cheese ka shortage hai is dunya mein. Uh, so there is always, you know, if you, uh, you know, I mean, if you look at it, uh, we are, our senses have unlimited, you know, capacity to, not unlimited, they have, I mean, our mind has unlimited capacity to enjoy. Mind is never satisfied. It's like a fire in which put keep on putting ghee and hoping that ghee dalne se ye fire thoda kam ho jayega. Abhi ghee mang raha chalo ghee de diya. Abhi tu santushto ja. Nee, or or shaktiwan ho jata hai. It becomes stronger. It becomes more powerful. It demands more. It is not satisfied. The senses may be satisfied, but the mind is not satisfied. You know, like sometimes when we are eating, when eating prasad, if someone offers us one gulab jamun, you know, we eat it we'll, and we are already eyeing, ki, I hope there is enough for second helping. You know, first helping, we are the second helping, we are 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 and then after that, uh, you know, we uh, if the second helping comes, we feel that I'll enjoy more. But already, I mean, it depends on your age also. When you are 15, 20, 25 or 30, at that time, second gulab jamun, you can see it. It's easy. And you can eat more than two or three. You can't see it. But when you become old, like, you know, 50, 50 plus, you can see it. A second gulab jamun already is like thoda wo ati lagne lagta hai ki yaar ye kaise main khaunga how will i eat the second uh, gulab jamun so we are struggling so uh, in that sense uh, you know uh, there is the sense the mind is still is still telling you chal ek aur kar le kuch nahi hoga ek aur kha sakta hai you can do it yaar diye aise kaise tu ye char char nikal jata tha dhada dhad and we want to eat second, third, mind keeps telling you and the senses are saying, baskar, baskar, ho raha oh, ye ho raha hai, ho raha hai, ho raha but the mind says, come on, you can do it, one more, Chalo, gulab jamun khao, dekho, dusra sweet bhi hai, kheer bhi hai, kheer khao, gulab jamun nahi chena, koi baat nahi, khao, so the mind is never satisfied, it will keep on demanding, at any age, there will never be an age at which your mind will say ki, or your senses will ki say, okay, bas, okay, no, okay, no. I think, you know, if you have enjoyed, uh, I have, I was born, you know, 51 years ago, 51 years ago, I had a lot of fun. Sense gratification, I had a lot of fun, 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 I had
यू नो एकदम ऑस्टेज सात्विक खाना खाने का भाकरी खाने का सब्जी विदाउट मसाला विदाउट तेल वाला खाने का यू नो यू फाइंड वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज आर सेंसेस आर कॉन्स्टेंटली डिमांडिंग दे आर क्रिएटिंग डिस्टर्बेंस यू नो भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर प्रेयर विच वी चैंट एवरी डे एटलीस्ट टू थ्री टाइम्स विच इज महाप्रसाद गोविंदे नमो ब्राह्मणि वैसे उसमें वो कहते हैं कि जड़े त्रिया ताहे काल ताहे काल का क्या मतलब है हाँ जो हिंदी अच्छा हिंदी बोलने वाले लोग ताहे काल का क्या मतलब जड़ इंद्रिया ताहे काल जड़ इंद्रिया ताहे काल जीवे फैले विषय सागर ये विषयों के सागर में जीव पड़ा हुआ है तार है तो तार मध्य जीवा आती लोभमय सुधुमति सो दिस जीवा इज सो अनसेटिस्फाइड ऑलवेज लुकिंग फॉर मोर एंड मोर सो शी इज सेइंग सी फॉर मोस्ट पीपल वी डोंट इवन स्टॉप टू थिंक व्हेन देयर इज अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर एंजॉयमेंट व्हाट डू वी डू वी एंजॉय अरे मेरे कर्म के हिसाब से मेरे को आया है तो मैं तो एंजॉय करेगा एवरीवन एंजॉयस We don't even stop to think that the hell cup khatam hoga when will this end? You know that sense object comes in front of me. I want it. Yeah, so vishya am tum sam sangasthe upo jayte. Yeah, so vishya am tum sam sangasthe. So, wo cycle kabi khatam hi nahi hota hai. So they were thinking that I am bored. I am bored. Okay, enough of this senses which what disturbance they are creating. So then she says to Lord Kapil Dev uh, that. You are my transcendental I, you know, Sat Chakshur. She says to her son because she knows he is a supreme lord. You are my transcendental I, meaning what? He is saying that with by your grace, O Lord, by your grace. Now see, हमें for those of you who are not familiar with what is going on, we are discussing about Lord Kapil Dev, who is a Shakti Avesh Avatar, a supreme lord. Who has taken birth in the family of Kardama Muni and Devuti as their son? If your son is a supreme lord, then what is the fortune that somebody has if the son is a supreme lord? So she says, "You are my transcendental I." Transcendental I meaning what? She is saying that with my material vision, see, if with with these eyes, what we have been given, you know, we are not able to appreciate God. We are not able to appreciate God's energies. Also, we are only able to see everything as sense object. Because the eye's chemistry is such a made. The eye, the nose, the mouth, the skin, the jiwa, the flesh, its constitution is such a made. It has been made in such a way that it cannot appreciate anything transcendental. It has been made in such a way that it cannot appreciate anything transcendental. It's a basic thing. That's how it is. But that's why even if Krishna comes and stands in front of us, सामने साक्षात भगवान आके खड़े हो गए, तो भी क्या होगा? हम लोग उनको we will see him as a material person. We will not be able to see that this is supreme lord because we have not been given those eyes. प्रेमान जनचुरी का भक्ति विरोचन है ना? That unless our eyes are anointed to the salve of love. We cannot recognize that this is the supreme Lord, even if He is standing in front of me. So she says that you are my transcendental I, because you are, you know, through you I will be able to understand what is spirituality. I will be able to understand why I am feeling so disturbed in this material world. You know, she says they have arisen like the sun. To dispel the darkness of ignorance in the universe, so she is saying this in her prayers. He is universe में जो darkness है, जो अंधकार है, उसको मिटाने के लिए आप यहाँ पे आए हो. So now you come to dispel that darkness. So she is glorifying the Lord. So now when she is glorifying the Lord like this, uh, we may say कि आ देवोति के लिए तो अच्छा है ना. सन हर ओन सन इज सुप्रीम लॉर्ड मेरा क्या हो हा? मेरे घर में <laughs> मेरे घर में तो सुप्रीम लॉर्ड पैदा नहीं हुए लॉर्ड इज नॉट बोर्न इन माय हाउस व्हाट अबाउट मी सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक यू नो इफ यू फील 
that uh, we are unfortunate because oh these stories of the Bhagavatam are all nice, very inspiring to read, but uh, in reality you have to understand that practical is it. Oh, Bhagwan, who avatar is it? Oh, avatars' story is it? Our what? What are we? But no, we also have the same fortune, the same opportunity that Mother Devuti has. We have the same opportunity that Prahlad Maharaj had. We have the same opportunity that Dhuva had. All these stories when the Lord suddenly appears in front of a devotee. Bhagavatam is full of those stories. Na, ki the devotee is in trouble and the Lord appears. Or the devotee is begging for the blessings of the Lord and the Lord appears. For us also, in the <coughs> in the extremely unfortunate age of Kali, Iron Age, as it is called, age of Kali, Kali Kale Nam Rupe Krishna Avatar, the Lord has incarnated in the form of the holy names Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. The Lord is so merciful that in this age, for people who are completely undeserving, see if you see the qualifications of Kardama Muni and the Deva Bhuti, you see the qualifications of Prahlad Maharaj, you see the qualification of Dhruva Maharaj. The Lord appeared in front of people who are super qualified. You can imagine what are their qualifications. The Lord appeared in front of them. Our qualification? We are just filled with anarthas. You know, lust, anger, greed, envy, pride, illusion. These six anarthas. anarthas We also have other anarthas, subtle anarthas. The desire for puja, la, pratishta. That I want to be glorified. I want to be, you know, I want to be known as great. These things are also there. We are not, I mean, it's not, sometimes, you know, devotees and devotees sometimes transcend material sense gratification. You know, they go, I saw material sense gratification, but our mind comes that we have to be great. I want to become great. I want to be known. I want to be recognized. And that then starts pressing us down. You know, we feel that, ah, bhakti ke saath ye mera but no. It is actually dragging us down. We don't realize. So, you know, uh, the Lord is so merciful despite us being so disqualified. In the age of Kali, Lord has incarnated in the form of Holy Name. So, for all of you in this room, for all of us, the same facility that Lord is there, is there for us. Second, Lord has incarnated in form of Srimad Bhagavatam also. He is there in form of Srimad Bhagavatam. So if we take shelter, see Srimad Bhagavatam, Sunna, hearing Bhagavatam and taking shelter of it are two different things. One can sit here, one can listen to the class, but taking shelter means what? The Bhagavatam is all about surrender of the devotees. So we are just hearing, but we are not surrendering to the instructions of Bhagavad Gita. We are not surrendering to Shri Bhagavad Gita. So, we have the opportunity, if we surrender to Srimad Bhagavatam, to the instructions given by the pure devotees in the Srimad Bhagavatam, the instructions in the purpose of Srila Prabhupada, if we take shelter of that, you know, Supreme Lord is available to us also. Like what Devaguti, what experience she is getting, we can also get it. As a niyaki, you know, only Devu Bhuti got it. We can also get it. When we read Bhagavad Gita, when we read Bhagavad Gita, when we hear Bhagavad Gita, we hear the verses of Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita verses, Krishna, like in the in the introduction to Bhagavad Gita, Srila Prabhupada says that this Bhagavad Gita is not different than Krishna. Hari Katha, he says, is not different than Hari. No difference. You know, so. It is all in our minds. It is all in our intent. What we want out of this process of bhakti. If we, in our minds, we also think that like Deva Huri, that I am also sick of the disturbance caused by my gross senses and my subtle senses. 
मैं बोध हो गया मेरा ये यू नो माय सेंस गैटिफिकेशन इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड आई हैव डन एंड डन आई हैव एंजॉयड इनफ बोध हो गया नाउ लेट मी सरेंडर दैट माय लॉर्ड यू आर माय ट्रांसेंडेंटल आई हु इज गिविंग मी यू नो एक्सेस टू द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड यू हैव अरिजन लाइक द सन टू डिस्पेल द डार्कनेस ऑफ इग्नोरेंस इन द यूनिवर्स द भागवतम हैज हैज इनकारनेटेड इन कलयुगा to dispel the darkness of this material world if we take shelter of the instruction of bhagavatam we also can get the same experience then <clears throat> she says please dispel my ignorance okay she says please dispel my ignorance of aham aham ka kya matlab hai aham ka matlab hai that uh, thinking i am this body Uh, thinking i am this body is aham and mameti mameti means things in connection with this body are mine okay now in these two words ye do shabdo mein aham and mameti in these two words full description of material world whatever goswami is there because everyone in this age will get hurt will get hurt very busy guy <laughs> yeah so in this entire world whatever activities are going on you know they are described in these two words aham mameti aham means what i am this body and this body is meant for you know to be enjoyed ye sharir bhagwan ne diya hai wo mauj karo enjoy karo aham and mameti that things in relation to this body are mine and again for my enjoyment whole world is revolved around these two words aham mameti you know it's very interesting so uh, she is saying uh, you know like you know she we just analyze for a moment uh, i am this body right now when we are in this tatsan over here amongst the devotees you know we may be thinking that no 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 I don't think I am the body. I know I am the spirit soul. I am the body. I am the soul. 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 I am we continue to enjoy activities on the platform of body only hum log ko spiritual kuch bro ji don't because he keep coming going there don't give the don't nahi to aapko to food disturb karte rahe so uh, you know uh, we will always be on the body only platform till we die unless we make efforts to change we will be on the body only platform similarly this mameti that these things are mine for my enjoyment we see like our spouse or husband or our wife this is this person is for my enjoyment my children they are for my enjoyment is children how will enjoy well if my children do well in life i can talk about them to others i can tell others are mera beta doctor ban gaya mera doctor beta ca ban gaya mera beta engineer ban gaya mera beta ye ban gaya meri beti ye ban gayi you know so we enjoy through them when we see that they have become what we couldn't become you know mostly wahi hota hai most parents <coughs> apne aspirations apne bachche pe thopte hain ki mere ko doctor banne ka tha mai nahi ban paya mera bachcha ban jaye bachche bahut kuch karte hain bada padhai karo padhai karo beta padhai karo padhai karo aur agar padhai nahi kiya to wo kaise hai tum log hum kitna padhai karte the hamare zamane are aapne itna kiya to aap kyun nahi doctor bane आप नहीं बने हम पे अभी थोप रहे हो तो ये होता है वी नो वी ट्राई टू एंजॉय थ्रू आवर चिल्ड्रेन वी ट्राई टू एंजॉय थ्रू आवर एसेट्स वी फील वेरी हैप्पी यू नो इफ यू हैव अ गुड बैंक बैलेंस यू नो तो बीच बीच में हम लोग वो लॉग इन करके देखते हैं कि हाँ ऐसा है एकदम अच्छा ऐसा लगता है देखने को पोर्टफोलियो अपना बढ़ रहा है अरे जो शेयर में पैसा डाला था वो बढ़ गया अरे जो म्यूचुअल फंड में पैसा डाला म्यूचुअल फंड subject to market risk but mutual fund sahi hai sab log bolte hai 
म्यूचुअल फंड सेक्शन एवरीवन वेरी हैप्पी कि मेरा म्यूचुअल फंड बढ़ रहा है बढ़ रहा है बढ़ रहा है वेरी वन डिलाइटेड व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज मोमेंटी माय मनी इज एक्सपेंडिंग माय फेम इज एक्सपेंडिंग आई हैव बिकम फेमस नाउ बिकॉज़ नाउ आई हैव ग्रोन भक्ति में मैं आगे बढ़ गया तो मैं फेमस हो गया mamati this is also mamati you know even after coming to devotional life if you are still stuck to the same old puja la pratishta you know bhakti bhakti sidan saraswati thakur <coughs> he used to say that puja la pratishta sakala shukarera vishta shukarera vishta okay what this means it sounds in nice. bengali mein bol rahe hain kuch acha bol rahe honge nahi it is very hard hitting He says, "Puja lab pratishta." This this desire for you know being worshipped, being being famous. Uh, if we have this desire, puja lab pratishta. It is compared to shukar era vishta. Shukar means what? The boar, boar, not even pig. Boar, जो wild boar होता है, हाँ, जो pig में भी जो है low class वाला pig रहता है, उसको shukar बोलते हैं. शुकर का जो व्हाट इज शुकर व्हाट इज दैट व्हाट इज दैट बोर और पिग ईट व्हाट डू दे ईट व्हाट इज देयर फूड दे ईट विस्टा बस अरे थैंक यू सो व्हाट डू दे व्हाट डू द शुकर ईट शुकर ईट्स विस्टा तो शुकर का विस्टा कितना गंदा रहेगा मतलब इमेजिन मैंने हम लोग अच्छा अच्छा रीड नाइस पूरी सब्जी गुलाब जामुन एंड दैट विस्टा इज लाइक हॉरिबल वी कांट इवन लुक एट इट जल्दी इसको फ्लश कर दो कोई पीछे देखता भी नहीं है राइट बट शुक्र ईट्स दैट विस्टा एंड उसका विस्टा कितना खराब रहे कैन इमेजिन हाउ मच इट मस्ट बी हॉरिबल सो भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर कंपेयर्स दिस पूजा लाभ प्रतिष्ठा टू शुक्र एंड विस्टा यू नो सो दिस ममेती वेयर something relation to this body now if i have a body and i have some designation connected to that body whatever that designation may be if i am proud of that designation shukar e ravish so yeah she is saying please dispel this ignorance of aham and mameti because sari duniya isi mein lage hue hai ki how can i enjoy and how can i enjoy things in connection to my body my bank balance my family my friends my house my assets how do i enjoy 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 because these arise from false ego and this is created by it is created by maya the illusory potency of the lord and when we have this consciousness we are said to be in maya maya buddh jeev maya buddh jeev you know uh, in various places the propad quotes that uh, krishna buliya jeev bhogavan cha kare nikatastha maya tare jhapatiya tare ha huh? another nice uh, bengali you know ye uh, it says <coughs> that krishna buliya jeev when the jeeva when the spirit eternal spirit soul krishna buliya forgets krishna forgets about god forgets about the supreme lord forgets about their relationship with god टली So therefore, she says, since this is your Maya, you have created. Now she is talking to the Supreme Lord. So she is telling, since this is your Maya, I am. I am in this Maya. 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 मम माया दुर्तया प्रपद्यंते माया मेता तरंते सो कृष्णा सेज दैट दिस दैवीश गुणमयी मम माया दुर्तया इ दुर्तया इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू वर्क आउट माया द इल्यूजरी पोटेंशियल ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू वर्क 
तो कहीं पे भी स्ट्राइक कर सकती है हमारा वीक पॉइंट उसको बराबर मांग वट इज आवर वीक पॉइंट इज इट लास्ट शील हिट यू विद लास्ट इज इट एंगर शील हिट यू विद एंगर इज इट ग्रीड शील हिट यू विद ग्रीड इट इज नन ऑफ दी अबाउ नन ऑफ द सिक्स ऑन अर दस शील हिट यू विथ प्राइड यू नो सटल प्राइड यू नो विच इज Uh, thinking that I am great and expecting someone to recognize, so she knows where to hit you and she will hit you there. So <clears throat> Krishna says that it is not possible to overcome Maya. You cannot do it because she is too powerful. She is empowered to specifically put living entities into illusion because they want it. Because the living entities want to enjoy separately from Krishna. therefore this whole material world has been created you know so she says that please release me from this maya and she says please explain to me what is this purusha what is this prakriti what is the relationship between soul between spirit and matter please hame samjhao and in response to the questions of devabhuti uh, you know uh, lord kapil dev speaks the next several chapters so devahuti is saying therefore that my engagement in sense gratification my engage she saying my engagement in sense gratification uh, and entanglement in sense gratification is only possible by your mercy this is also an interesting statement that she makes she saying that my entanglement and my uh, you know um, uh, engagement in sense gratification is because of your mercy so now you only free me from this entanglement so let's just spend a few minutes to discuss that how is krishna the source of entanglement and sense gratification how is the supreme god also the source of entanglement and sense gratification so we have to understand krishna says in the bhagavad gita aham sarvasya prabho i am the source of everything Okay, the source of everything. He says, "The source of everything, including that which we enjoy and that which we enjoy it with." मतलब जो enjoy करते हैं उसका भी source है और जिससे उसको enjoy करते हैं उसका भी वही source है. तो इसके लिए कहानी है जो story. There was a villager. That villager, you know, he comes. Uh, you know, he is always lived in his village whole life. नेवर केम आउट ऑफ द विलेज में वही विलेज में था ऐसे बहुत छोटे हमारे देश में जो विलेज में ही पैदा हुए विलेज में ही बड़े हुए विलेज में बूढ़े हुए वहीं पे चले गए नेवर केम आउट ऑफ द विलेज तो बहुत लोग तो दिस विलेज ऑफ द लेनर सो ही कम्स फ्रॉम द विलेज टू द सिटी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दिस इज बिफोर यू नो पहले की बात सो व्हेन ही कम्स टू द सिटी ही रन्स इनटू द किंग He runs into the king. King से उनकी मुलाकात होती है. तो जो king होता है, हाँ, ऐसा रथ पे is going on a big rath, surrounded by you know, all his, you know, his ministers and everything. So he asks uh, the king, you know, and he sees when he comes out of the village, village छोटा सा. नहीं चल रहा. No, I have not started. Start करो. So I'll send the link then. नहीं नहीं मैंने स्टार्ट किया बट आई स्टार्टेड माय ओन एंड इट स्टार्ट दैट तो ये लिंक मैं भेजता आप ये वाला कहां पे डालो एचपी नहीं मैं या सो ही है इन इस विलेज ही हमने बस सीन है थिंग और छोटा सा फ्यू यू नो हाउसेस की फार्म इस देयर दैट्स इट नथिंग एस ही सीन इन इस विलेज व्हेन ही कम्स टू द सिटी इन द सिटी ही सीज मेनी थिंग्स ही सीज यू नो ही ही सीज लॉट ऑफ लैंड वो वो तुझको जमीन दिखता है तो राजन पूछता है लैंड किसका है मेरा Then उसको पूछने की जो रिवर्स जितने यहाँ पे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण किसका है मेरा है 
फिर पूछते हैं कि ये जो यहाँ पे ऐसे पर्वत बड़े बड़े दिख रहे हैं ये किसका है मेरा है ये इतने बड़े बड़े पेड़ और यहाँ पे सब जो अनाज उगा रहे ये किसका है मतलब मेरा है यहाँ पे इतना बड़ा है मंदिर विशाल मंदिर दिख रहा है ये मंदिर किसका है मेरा है आ, फिर वो मतलब विभिन्न सब कुछ आपका कैसा होता How is it possible? Everything belongs to you. तो बोलते हैं कि आप जिस गांव से आए हो उस गांव उस गांव वो गांव भी मेरा है वो गांव में जिस पाठशाला में आप पढ़े थे और जो पढ़ के मुझे ये प्रश्न पूछने की क्षमता है यू हैव द एबिलिटी टू आस्क मी अ क्वेश्चन कि ये लैंड किसका है ये मंदिर किसका है ये फाउंटेन किसका है ये एक क्षमता जो आपको स्कूल में मिली वो स्कूल भी मेरा है and the school also belongs to me so when he hears this you know he is completely completely bewildered <coughs> so he is completely completely bewildered ki ye kya chal raha hai he is not able to understand so in the same way you know the king tells him that everything ye sab kuch mera hi hai in the same way we understand that everything in this material world everything we may know it we may not know it like that villager we may also be ignorant we may not, we are ignorant we don't know that everything belongs to god everything that we feel is fit for enjoyment who's enjoyment my enjoyment aham mameti everything that's fit for enjoyment you know everything is coming from krishna and the apparatus with which we think we can enjoy the senses five senses that is also coming from this body is coming from so <laughs> because we are ignorant humko pata nahi but krishna clearly says you know he says that like he says aham sarva se prabhu shri prabhu translates in the bhagavad gita that he is a Lord, the source of all the material and spiritual worlds. So, हमको क्या लगता है? He is the source of all material, spiritual worlds. Means what we think? कि हाँ, all those planets and stars and everything, all that he is the source of that. But no, on that planet, एक एक पत्ता, एक एक you know insect, एक एक व्यक्ति, सब कुछ he is proprietor of all the resources. India has got uh, biggest uh, storehouse of zinc and mica. He is proprietor of that. South Africa has got biggest storehouse of diamonds. He is proprietor of that. Uh, Nasik has got best ability to grow grapes. No, orange is Nagpur. He is proprietor of that. He is proprietor of everything. You know, we should not think that you know only ha ha. Who planets or universe, whatever that is, he is proprietor of that. No, he is prabhu of sarvasya prabhu. Everything. Everything is the means. So you know, as it is described in Shiva Bhagavata, in second canto, this chapter is described. He is the source of the gross organs. What are the gross organs? The nose, the eyes, the ears, the tongue, the skin. He is the source of the gross, you know, organs. He is source of the gross subtle sense organs. What are the subtle sense organs? Subtle sense organ is the ability to smell. the ability to hear so there is one thing that there is a ear okay there is an ear but there is a subtle sense organ which gives the ability to hear everyone doesn't have it some people don't have right kaan hai sunai nahi deta dada ko ke naam log kehte hain ki naam aankh ke ande naam nahi su ha hamesha bolte hain na aankh ke ande naam nahi su was that that subtle organ of see is not there with that person right if we have it we have to understand we have the gross organ and the subtle sense organ is the ability to smell see taste touch that is also coming from krishna the demigods that are present in each of these senses in the bhagavatam it is discussed there is a specific demigod assigned for each of these senses like for smelling there is ashwini kumar for seeing there is surya for taste there is varuna for hearing there are the dik devtas for touch there is vayu so for each of these subtle sense organs 
there is one one demigod. He is the soldier. He is one. Okay. And then finally, last but not least, <clears throat> we discuss the gross senses, subtle senses, the demigods that are controlling these gross and subtle senses, and finally the sense objects. Was sense diya, but sense object nahi diya, to kya fayda? What is the use? If you have perfect 2020 vision, but aapke irth kirth. 2000 kilometer radius में जहाँ पे भी देखो सिर्फ desert ही desert only sand and there's no oasis also what is the use of having those eyes what is the use of having that that nose that tongue that ears that skin what is the use कोई है ही नहीं क्या ही आप enjoy करोगे है नहीं so he has very kindly given sense objects also and for every species, there is sense gratification. For dog, there is female dog. For pig, there is female pig. For lizard, there is female lizard. For cockroach, there is female cockroach. Sense gratification is available on species of life. Ahar nidra bhai maithunam chal samanya meitar koshumira nana. So, these, these things, eating, sleeping, mating, defending, these sense objects, this ability to enjoy sense gratification is available to every living entity, all animals, everyone. Sabke paas hai ye, yane ki pura kit, starting from gross organ, subtle organ, Demigod who is overseeing everything is okay as per your karma and the sense of the pura apparatus, you know, those of you are from chemistry, chemical engineering background, HPCL wale, PPCL wale, or RCF wale, will understand what apparatus means. Pura apparatus de rakha hai humko for enjoyment. The Lord is so kind. You want to enjoy? Take this. Enjoy. He's given us. Right? All of it. You know, and not just this, he's not just given the sense objects, he's also given one more important thing. He has given us the false ego. Because if you have all the apparatus, if you have all the apparatus, but you don't have false ego, you cannot enjoy. False ego means what? Thinking that I am the enjoyer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if I think that I am the enjoyer, uh, you know, if I, I think that, oh, I am servant of Krishna and I really believe that, that, you know, I am not here for enjoyment, I am here to serve the Lord, then you can't enjoy. enjoy I am doing sense gratification. You will not be able to enjoy. So therefore, in order that ye pura apparatus to jiya hai, ye apparatus ko ab use kar pao, aapko all ego bhi diya hai. In my enjoyer, not Krishna, I am the enjoyer. Okay, so he convinces us that, the all ego convinces us that we can enjoy and we are the enjoyers. And the mind, which keeps, he's also given us the mind. Aja, all ego ek de diya, jo ek, who we are, we think that I am not this soul, I am this body. And I am the enjoyer. But he's also given us the mind, which keeps reminding us of the sense gratification we have done in the past. Remember, Mind will keep on reminding you that you have to enjoy. So, what facility is that you have to enjoy? You have to enjoy the whole apparatus plus the false ego plus the mind. Everything is there. Senses always ready to oblige. Always ready. Saksham. Sense object samne a gaya tunan. You know? Yehi samsparsh jaab hooga dukha yoga yehi vate. We don't understand. 
we are always looking for that that way moment comes we are very happy right so the whole thing the whole apparatus plus the false ego so let's just once more quickly go through okay what is the apparatus first is gross senses second is subtle senses third is the devatas who are in charge of the senses chauta kya tha presence object panchma kya tha false ego chhata kya tha माइंड था ये सब कुछ दे रखा है एंड इसको एंजॉय करने के लिए कुछ करेंसी चाहिए एंजॉय करने के लिए करेंसी तो रखता है ना व्हाट इज द करेंसी करेंसी इज कर्मा व्हाट एवर कर्मा यू हैव व्हाट एवर डिजायर यू हैव एंड व्हाट एवर कर्मा यू हैव दैट इज योर करेंसी तो आपके पास करेंसी है किसे में कर्मा का तो लो एपेटस मजा करो एंजॉय सेपरेटली फ्रॉम कृष्णा सो इंटरेस्टिंग इवन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कर्मा इज डिस्क्राइब इन द भगवत गीता कर्मा एंड डिजायर एवरीथिंग ओनली डिजायर इज आवर एक्चुअली एवरीथिंग एल्स इन प्रोवाइडेड बाय द वर्ल्ड सिर्फ डिजायर हमारा है बाकी सब कुछ पूरा व्यवस्था करके रखा है चाहिए आपको एंजॉयमेंट ले लो पर खाली कर्मा का करेंसी रेडी रखो अच्छा कर्म है तो एंजॉयमेंट मिलेगा बुरे कर्म है तो मार खाने वाली आपको अच्छा कुछ दिखने को नहीं मिले But your currency is not. So very interesting, you know that how everything is provided by the Lord. Similarly, uh, as Mother Devuti is saying here, that ये सब जो आपने मेरे को ये माया के जाल में फंसा के रखा है through all these apparatus. इस दिन जे मुक्त करो. Get me out of this. Give me the information by which I can get out of this. Okay. so similarly while lord has provided the entire kit and apparatus for sense gratification for those who are tired by devahuti to thak gaye so kya abhi aur nahi aur aur nahi chahiye bahut ho gaya abhi jo sense gratification aata hai to aata hai but i am not going to go running after it any more bus enough so those who are tired he has given a whole kit and apparatus for them also उनके लिए भी किट अपैरेटस पूरा रेडी करके रखा है भगवान ने क्या दिया है ही इज गिवन वेदिक स्क्रिप्चर्स ही इज गिवन द गीता इज गिवन द भागवतम इज गिवन द उपनिषद्स इज गिवन द वेदास इज गिवन सो मेनी स्क्रिप्चर्स ही इज गिवन व्हाई पहले तो समझो कि यू आर नॉट दिस बॉडी लगता है कि ये ये जो अपैरेटस है ये मेरा है इससे मैं एंजॉय कर रही है अपैरेटस आप हो ही नहीं तो द सोल दैट रिजाइड्स इन दिस बॉडी and who is god who am i what is my relationship with god he is given scriptures to understand acha scripture samajh mein nahi aata hai sanskrit padhna aata nahi hai padhne ka utna entu bhi nahi hai he has given acharyas time to time place to place there are people who are studying scripture and coming in parampara and following what the scriptures has given us एज एन एग्जाम्पल एक उदाहरण के तौर पर हमारे पास शास्त्र कैसे अपने जीवन में उतारना है ये समझने के लिए आचार्य दिए सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ थर्ड ही तीर्थस the holy dham the temples the deity you know he is come in that form also so third part of the apparent first he comes as the scriptures second he comes as the acharyas third he is present in the form of all these things holy name hari naam uh, you know hari naam hari katha prasad deities everything the dham then <clears throat> another part of the apparatus that he is given us devotees he has given us devotees those who spread the message of the lord the the propounders and the followers of the vedic knowledge because kali knowledge diya uska sab information diya 
लेकिन कोई फॉलोअर नहीं दिखा तो इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू फॉलो मुश्किल है ना अगर कोई फॉलो नहीं कर रहा है तो हम कैसे फॉलो करेंगे हमारे लिए भी कठिन हो जाता है तो ही इज गिवन इवन दैट वो भी किया and finally when we get purified when we get purified through the process of bhakti he he, he gives us the spiritual senses by which we can perceive the soul we can perceive the lord wo bhi diya hai so pura sense gratification ka pura kit aur apparatus diya hua hai ek taraf dusri taraf pura apne aap ko purify karke धाम जाने के लिए भी अपैरेटस दिया हो लाइफ इज अबाउट चूजिंग ह्यूमन लाइफ एनिमल नो फॉर एनिमल चॉइस दे आर गोथ टू डू वॉट दे आर डूइंग बट ह्यूमन लाइफ इज अबाउट चूजिंग विच किट और अपैरेटस विल बी चूज आप कौन सा अपैरेटस चूज करते हो ये आपके हाथ यू गेट टू चूज डू आई चूज अपैरेटस फॉर सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन then stay in this material world you know we will use it for our sense gratification but we will stay stuck in this material we will be rooted deeply rooted in the material world or do we choose the spiritual kit the shastra the holy name the deities the association of devotees do we choose that which is for krishna's pleasure that kit is not for our own enjoyment that kit is meant for krishna's enjoyment so that we can serve the lord and transcend this material life means choosing one of these kids and one such person who chose to live his entire life in the service of his guru and for the pleasure of krishna who did nothing else in his whole life you know i mean from whatever young age from the point where he got connected to iskon his holiness gopal krishna goswami maharaj so he actually left his body today morning so extremely painful event for all of us those of us who are you know who have seen him those who have seen what he has done for his son so today morning at 9:20 he departed from this world so <clears throat> just two minutes i'll speak about him then i'll conclude so this uh, his name even before initiation from prabhu pad was gopal krishna so already gopal krishna so uh, when he first met shila prabhupada in 1968 in montreal in canada he was doing his uh, you know post graduation over there so uh, when he met shila prabhupada he was given the service of cleaning you know the room cleaning and preparing the room of shila prabhupada when he is arriving and uh, this devotee who has uh, you know written about him he says that since then uh, this uh, since then gopal krishna maharaj has literally and figuratively dedicated his entire life to keeping shila prabhupada's house in order which is iskon he iskon ko ek saaf aur clean aur you know acche acha banaye rakhne ka unka bahut bada yogdan raha hai so uh, he actually has served shila prabhupada for his entire life right from 1968 Till now, how many years is that? Fifty, fifty, fifty-five years, fifty-six years, fifty-six years in the service of Shila Prabhupada, dedicated, uninterrupted. Yeah, uh, you know, so uh, he was not just you know an acharya by name. Gopal Krishna Goswami, khali naam ke Goswami nahi the. ऐसे बहुत सारे लोग हैं जिनका सरनेम Goswami नहीं है. No, this person was really Goswami. every day in the morning no matter what time he slept in the night no matter which part of the world he was he would get up and he would be there for mangalarti at 4:30 in the morning every day personally at the age of 80 he left his body today he was just going to turn 80 at the age of 79 also every day every day he would go to his small deities to worship those deities he went about you know setting up so many temples all over india so many especially in ncr region more than 12 13 temples in ncr region he has personally interacted with you know prime minister modi atal bihari vajpayee so many of these you know political leaders also he has cultivated plus he was responsible for bhakti vidhan doctors ye sab jo hum log bhagavad gita bhagavatam jo badi badi baatein karte hain he was responsible for that pbt you know for printing of these books 
So he's been an emblem of book distribution, sharing of Krishna consciousness, building beautiful temples, managing the international affairs of ISKCON mission, all the time remaining a very gentle, humble. See, because you have a lot of power. ISKCON may so you go, you become a GBC. That's like the top position. There's a possibility that you power, say, you know, as they say, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Not this person. You know, completely, he's always remained a very gentle, humble Vaishnava who always takes time to encourage others with genuine care, with affection. You know, and his own sadhana, his own sadhana has been very impeccable. So, uh, we are just very grateful uh, that, you know, whatever way this uh, great personality, Gopal Krishna Goswami Maharaj, uh, you know, he, through his life, he taught us that what it means to be a devotee. What it means to be a uh, fully sold out. See, he he has never explored the other apparatus for 56 years. Sirf Chila Prabhupada ki seva mein apna pura shari aur jaan laga. So, on this moment, you know, let us let us take a moment to pray uh, to Shishirada Gopinath that uh, this great personality, Gopal Krishna Swami Maharaj, who has touched the lives of millions, millions of people through BBT, through his teaching, uh, through the temples that he has set up in, you know, all over the world uh, and through his own personal example. Let us pray that, uh, you know, uh, Shishirada Gopinath would have certainly taken him back into their own pastimes. So let us pray that we never forget the example that has been set with his great personality and always remember him in our hearts with great gratitude. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Shila Prabhupada ki, Shila Gurudev ki, Jai Nikai Gaur Pai Mahati Hare Krishna. Maharaj appeared on the, on the day of another Ekadashi. So Maharaj appeared on 14th of August 1944 on the day of another Ekadashi. And basically, uh, when I was there in Delhi, with Shishada Pathati Mandir, so we have uh, Janamashrami. So very next day we are celebrating uh, Nandotar and uh, Srila Prabhupada's appearance day. Then one day break and then the Ekadashi which is coming is the appearance day of Prabhupada's uh, Gopal Krishna family. And today when we left his body, today also Varantana Ekadashi, Dwadashi day. So uh, again, uh, Lord of Appearance, Lord is sending his personal messenger in the service of Srila Prabhupada. And Maharaj dedicated his whole life. Specifically, he was very much particular about book distribution. So whenever uh, some devotees were coming in the temple and in the Radha Pantaji temple, so Maharaj said, uh, aap kitna, aap, aap, if you want to serve me, if you want to serve me, if you want to serve me, then the Shreela Prabhupada ki books ta prachar kya gaya. Jitna yada prachar kya gaya, you are pleading me. This is my middle term. He used to say. Thank you for sharing. Just for that. Thank you for sharing. So actually, one last point again, I'll pass it to you. That, uh, you know, we should also realize that those people who are direct disciples of Srila Prabhupada, one by one are leaving. I think last, last year, Bhakti Charu Maharaj, uh, then Kadam Kanan Swami, you know, direct disciple of Prabhupada, but again, very, very empowered uh, disciple, you know, uh, he has left. So, slowly but surely, in front of time, these great personalities are leaving this planet. So while they are here, what should we do? Take their association. Take shelter of them. So take shelter of them. Instruction. You can take Diksha. See, Diksha is wonderful. If you get initiation, very nice. But even if you don't get initiated, if in our hearts we have accepted the example, we have accepted the Tattva, we have accepted the mission of this, this devotee, this pure devotees. We have accepted their mission as my life and soul. In one sense, we are already initiated. So at least let us start from there. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Actually, today we had a counseling meeting. So that Guru uh, was explaining all these things. Uh, uh, he says, uh, I'm so empowered 
uh, to you know uh, fundraising and you know even temples construction of temples. So many temples he has, you know, in Delhi, India, area, there are 80 temples are. And recently uh, they have inaugurated Rohini Temple, which is a very, very huge uh, temple. It keeps, uh, there are 30 deities inside the temple, 30 deities, Ram Lakshman Sita, Jagannath Bhagavad Gita, Radha Krishna. So 30 deities are there in that temple. So it's a huge temple and very, very Elaborately, uh, they and uh, he is so important. In fact, uh, all his disciples are sold out to him, completely sold out to him. Whatever uh, Maharaj desires, they are ready to do. They are ready to die also. So, he was explaining some examples, but I just uh, skip that. But, uh, and the disciples are so sold out to Maharaj that they were planning to. Uh, have his uh, 80th birthday is coming up, you know, actually in August he is going to turn out 80, 80th. So they were planning for an elaborate arrangements, arrangements for his birthday of April. Again, you know, Maharaj left. And uh, he is really empowered and uh, he has got a lot of uh, uh, influences in uh, the political, uh, even Narendra Modi went and, you know, Bhagavad Gita, huge Bhagavad Gita, big Bhagavad Gita that Modi had inaugurated. That he was the he was the behind the thing. Yeah. Uh, so he is very much uh, he touches everyone's hearts. So wonderful to talk about. Yeah, every temple he goes, everywhere he visits, he he morning Mangal Arati he does. Even Juhu Temple, he is actually in charge of Juhu, Juhu Temple. So always we see, if he is available in the temple, he will be the one who will be doing the RD in the morning, 4 of the 4.30. Till the age of, now recently, till the age of, even old also, he will be the one who will be doing the RD in the morning, 4 of the 4.30. Such a wonderful example, so we are really missing him and uh, to talk about him and then taking his blessings and uh, praying to Krishna for his uh, Mujani and uh, more seva, uh, wherever he, he, he is there, so that uh, we can uh, see and then uh, we can follow, like Prabhuji mentioned very nicely, we can follow his uh, instructions, one hour, two at least, and then put it in our uh, life. So that is the service to our, you know, your great house, our service to be. Is next one. After that, the spirit share.